Andrew, on the boats uh, issue, we saw the coalition target the government on this as amid reports that the ADF has put more resources onto the northern border. Let's have a look. The last time Labor dismantled the coalition's strong border protection policies, over 800 boats arrived and tragically 1,200 people died at sea. Now it's been revealed that the Australian Navy has had to divert resources to provide a surge of extra patrols in anticipation of an increase in illegal boat arrivals. Doesn't this prove that Labor's policy to end the deterrent of temporary protection visas provides an incentive to people smugglers to restart their evil trade? This government will be tough on borders without being weak on humanity. Yeah. And that's the position that we took to the election and that's the position that we're implementing. Uh, Mr Pizzullo, the Secretary of the Department of Home Affairs, uh, was asked about uh, whether uh, the, ch the department advised against the changes to TPVs as announced today. He announced as crisply as he could in one word, no. The Prime Minister in Parliament. Now, an informed source has told me today that the enhanced ADF presence on the border is about keeping the boot on the throat of the people smugglers. Far from being a sign of a boat surge, the opposite is apparently the case. It's part of the government's stronger enforcement ahead of and in the wake of the TPV holders being granted a pathway to permanent residency. My understanding, Andrew, is that there is no sign of additional boat activity at this stage. And the government would really welcome that. I guess it's early days. But essentially, Kieran, this doesn't become a political issue in this country, in my experience, until or unless the boats arrive. Exactly. So I can see what the opposition is doing setting it up. But if those boats don't arrive, won't shift a vote. Indeed. And hence uh, that forward-leaning approach to try and the stop that. The deterrent, essentially. Exactly right. right. Yeah. Indeed.